Morning everybody. Chad, Adler Farms. We're gonna let this stranger pull in and get a nice screenshot on camera. I'll get it myself. I'm good at the gate. Well, usually, you know what's great? Right. Well, I got a seven year old now that's full of energy. That's the best gate opener I ever had in my life, man. Dude, he about jumps out of the seat and if he ain't got his shoes on, like if we're coming home, he's had his shoes off in the car. He, we pull up, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jumps out, man, he lifts it up. You know, and if you if you take the gate that way, it drags a little. No, man, seven, <laughs> rips into the gravel. So. Let me know when he's doing that when he hits nine or Case's two. age. <laughs> yeah. You know what Case does? Case goes, good job, Carter. <laughs> Attaboy. Carter, go. Attaboy. Oh, it's good to see you down here. Hi, Bella. Look at Slim. Hi, honey. How are you? I know. She looks good, man. She, she does. That, look at that barrel chest on you. Oh, yeah. yeah you're loving this, aren't you, honey? She loves it. Oh, that's a good girl. So the good. only thing she gets upset about is sometimes I bring my truck up here. Yeah. And I get the side-by-side -side or the tractor. Yeah. Yeah. And she follows me up here and we hang out. But sometimes I come up here with my truck and I'm leaving. So she walks up here. I pull out, get out of the gate, and I turn around. And she's like... That gun, it got to walk all the way back down there. <laughs> That's a pretty girl. That's a good girl. She's so sweet. But, so glad to see her get out and oh, have yeah. all this room to wander and be around all these animals. And this, if you didn't know, it's my dad. It's Grandpa Adler Farms. Morning, everybody. So, well, I went over there to get a bag of feed because I'm going to let you dump it on the ground. Sweet. So you get to see the stampede. Oh, cool. But I, I made well, them. Well, am I going to see it or be in front of it? Well, we'll get you out of the way because... Oh, well, everybody was giving me a hard time about needing yeah. a chicken dance or something. Why don't you dance like Grandpa does? Because they've oh. seen me dance a little. Oh, yeah? You know, yeah, well, which yeah. I don't know that I dance, but I, yeah, t I can right. teach you how to Dougie, yeah. right? <laughs> Dougie? Is that but, what it's called? Yeah, I think it's a horrible song. Don't yeah. Google it. Right. But okay. anyway, it's got a nice little beat. But right. I told him, I said, I got to dance. It's called Don't Get Stabbed Dance. <laughs> yeah. Every day I come down feet on the ground. So I do that same dance when I feed the pigs. Everybody goes, do the pig yes, poker. Look, I yeah. got no choice. I know. Well, because pig poker, or they knock me down and. Well, what people don't know too is not that your pigs would bite you, but pigs have some teeth, man. Well, a lot of know, people pull them. Yeah, listen, man, read some old horror stories about pigs and what they used to do with pigs back. In yeah. The, back in the day. Yeah, That's I, true. I, I wouldn't That's want true. to fall down and pass out. Yep. You'd have to <laughs> just. Well, there's there's where's, grandpa. Where's that's grandpa? that's where he, look he's over there. Yeah, there's he's his, over yeah. there. There's his left shoe. <laughs> but no, I pulled up and I keep the feed in the back of the trailer and oh. uh I got a bag of feed out. Look at the actual livestock trailer. Okay. I got a bag of feed out, so they're all looking at me like, Well where are you gonna dump it? Oh, all right. You but already... I didn't. I drove over here and now they're like, What's he doing? I see. Yeah, he I broke the routine. Yeah, oh man, you know I, and they listen, they know it. Oh, they know it. So they're waiting on you right now to come over there or somebody and yep. unload that feed. But we'll probably drive down low and, uh, you know, yeah. see if we can get them to follow us. But Sound like a winner. Yeah, go just pull there. through. I'll open the gate. And, go, all, go all the way down? No, nah, just park right here. Oh, park here. Or you can park right here and jump over. It don't matter. Oh, let's, uh, I could jump over, but let's pull it in. Okay. Let's pull it in. Oh, man. I think my dad brought me another animal, which we'll explain here in a minute. Man, and people, you know, most people that watch us, they know that animals are smart. But every night, or I should say every day I come up here, yeah. this gate is like this. Because they come up here and they lean on it to see if, oh, I wonder if dad forgot to latch it. I wonder. Yeah, hopefully. So, it's Maybe. pretty funny. And nobody can squeeze through. No, no. The little goats used to be able to, and they might if they work at it, but yeah. no. You brought me another animal, right? I brought you the... A uh, big rooster. Uh, Not I, it's just one this time. I just got one. It's one okay. of the, you know, the other four uh, I brought, and then this is the last big one. And he's is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. I hope he's good. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's just chilling. Oh, there he is. He just yeah. relaxed. I hope so. Yeah, he's moving around. And he and Magneto, he has the chicklets. Magneto has all the rest. And they're not, uh, they keep the ladies separate. Magneto will get in front of him. They don't fight. But I can't, I, until I get this guy out of here, I can't let Magneto be over everything. But who is that? That's, oh, that's June. June. What's her deal? She's mad. Well, she's not, she's not mad. Imagine. You know how June visited the neighbor's bull? That's his number. 
she's dialing the neighbor's bull. Oh my goodness. Now that bull's gone. Okay. But she don't know it and she don't care. She's so calling she's already the, over having the little one. She's yeah, she's calling the next on. bull. Yeah. yeah. I think she was over Frank the minute Frank came out weighing 80 pounds. Have you had to talk with her? No, no. <laughs> We're going to have to get her a bull though. What's crazy is her sister, her blood sister. You couldn't breed that one for nothing. June, I'm yeah. ready. Oh man. Here I is. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the looking right at us? Which one's he? That's Bunny. That's Bunny? That's a heifer. That's a heifer. I don't know. But she'll heifer. be, well, a lot of people get confused because yeah. if they got horns they assume bull yeah well i well listen yeah you, hey i didn't know it till no, no. I, yeah. I, I i didn't you know you guys know dad brought us some roosters i'm pretty confident that raccoons got them i told you that in my video i don't know if he did or not but i didn't even dad was like hey i'm gonna bring you these protect them the best you can we locked them in the coop for like 48 hours we didn't let them out then the next night i don't know remember we had ninja who was also a turd i don't know if ninja was picking on him or what but i couldn't get him to go in there for nothing after leaving him for 48 hours we got rid of ninja i'm pretty sure we lost some of the roosters we've got another one this is how farming goes okay roosters it's kind of like a bull a bull can work himself out of a job a rooster can too but cowboy actually and i like cowboy but he's actually chasing us now and getting a little territorial cowboy? yeah well, he's a, he's the Bantam. He's yeah. the Bantam. Yeah. And Bantams are kind of puffy-chested, even though they're little bitty. We're going to turn this guy out with him. And he's a looks to be like a cream leg bar cross. They're usually a little more docile. They also lay, they also pass a blue uh, gene, which is really pretty. A blue egg gene. It's here. Because yeah. Cowboy passes little bitty egg genes. Yeah. Well, I explained in the video, you know, if I had put them on Craigslist or any facebook whatever medium and somebody said oh i'll take all the roosters you get guess what their fate was going to be chicken nuggets exactly yeah. so i wanted to come out here if they had 24 48 72 a week worth of free living it's better than they were going to have with with me i couldn't yep. keep them all same for this guy we could let him out here the chickens are over there well yeah, whatever you want i to say do. just turn him out and turn see, what out, see what he does yeah okay uh, ban them uh and they're now they're bigger than cowboy because we're well, mama they're was. half yeah yeah because yeah. that's he's our only ban them they're so hard to tell apart too but i've got two names picked out for him that mm -hmm. oh he's pretty he's beautiful yeah he's really pretty he's beautiful definitely cream leg bar do we carry him where are you? Oh, i would just let him if it was me, I'd just sit him down and let him go. Do you, would you think he'll, will he go toward them? Or? We'll find out, but it's up to you, man. Well, I thought maybe, will your chicken drop? You can do whatever you I want. I don't have food. I'm going to walk it over here. we got to go to the trailer anyway, right? No, we side by side. Oh, the side by side has food in it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Well. Just turn him loose right here. Okay. Now, who takes a bath here? Donkeys, alpacas. Uh, you know, now I'm used to, if I see a dirt path in the middle of something, mm -hmm. All right, Bella. Honey. All right, buddy. Man, he's huge. He has no name. You know, I mean, I didn't name him yeah. any rooster. You name him Ralph? This, yeah, call him Ralph. Well, <laughs> we can if he makes it. Come on, buddy. Everybody's so curious. Come on, buddy. Come on. I don't know why they want to stay. I'll just upside down. That's right. He's going to hurt you. Woo, he's a big one. Yeah, he's uh, Boy, he's gorgeous. He's a pretty bird. Come on. Hi, buddy. Yeah. All the bugs you want. Boy, now this is, he's, he's, uh. This is, Case calls this cow council. Even though there's goats, this is cow council. <laughs> now, poison oak or poison ivy guaranteed. That's Where why we off? just, hi, Oreo. Yeah. And then I go like this. Yeah, she, but she likes to be petted, <laughs> doesn't she? She does. I thought about getting a hazmat suit because they're like 10 bucks. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, and I'm like this. I, I know Grandpa, I just take the chance. Mm -hmm. I, You've goats, never got it as bad as we do, I though. I know, I know. Of course, my goats aren't around any poison ivy either. Here you go. All right. Thanks, Bruce. We needed to know if you were ready to pee. Really? Hey, at least he's not peeing on his face. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, there it is. Now he is. Yep. <laughs> Did he really? Mm -hmm. How does he do that? Uh, you don't want to know. I don't know. You'll see it on I, video I, I here in a second. I don't know why, but how? This is Sunny. She's a little more standoffish. Oh, me and Patrick. Hi, buddy. Hi, Patrick. Hi, buddy. Hi. So he wants you to push harder. Oh. It's weird. If you can. Well, he doesn't. They don't Squat know down. Me. They don't know me. I get it. I get it. Yeah, he, it's okay. Yeah. 
you know me, I want to make friends with everybody, but I, you know. Are you gypsy's a no-no. Um, you can pet her, you can hand her cubes. Yeah. But I just, I just stay out of her way. I just give her respect. Yeah. And I but pit Frank before. I, I understand. I'm she's gonna... never shown aggression towards me, though. Yeah. Now are her horns going to get bigger. They grow their whole life, I believe. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So, but you can see Finn right here. That's a steer. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Finn and, and oh, our donkeys are inspecting that package I for bombs. Heard. That's what they're a donkey. They're bomb sniffing donkeys. You know, somebody said is they've asked me many times, is Batman bigger than Bruce? And you know what? I think that. I think their backs are about the same yeah, height. You might step this way a little bit. Oh, sorry. Like no, she thinks snorting. you're cool, but you were in her path. She's snorting at me a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He's uh, his back is every bit looks about as tall as. as yeah, Batman's about two feet wider though. Batman. <laughs> I know, that's where he got him right there. Tank of a goat. Yeah. Batman has the dad bomb. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a pet Frank. If you let me. I can smell that rag dude. Yeah, this was all dirt. I didn't really plant anything up here. Oh, so yeah. what I'm doing is just cutting it over and over and over and over. I'll tell you what, man. I can see right now you take a you take your box blade and just smooth it out. And just go around in a circle, man. Yep. You'll take that out. Wonderful. Hey, buddy. Squat down. So you actually want to push kind of hard because, like, he wants to scratch his face. Gotcha. I've watched you on video, and I thought, man, I want to do that. But it, it's, it's, you know, it, it's really something, though. How they, they know. Touch the Dawson. You know, I'm a, okay, I'm a stranger. And, uh, oh, my word scared me. To... You're so weird, dude. There we go. There we go. Hi, Frank. Take Frank. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So he's pushing against you because he wants it to be harder. Because you got to think, man, he weighs as much as you do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know that he's quite as much as you, but you know what I mean. Well, like, yeah. it don't hurt him. Probably outweighs me. Oh, yeah, he likes that. Oh, yeah. We do scratches quite a bit. Yeah, I know. You got, oh, my goodness. You like that? Uh oh. It's probably Cabela. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. I got him. But we'll go. Now we'll drive gonna, down him. Now is he gonna? That black is gonna. Well, she started. We don't know. I put medicine on him, and the vet thought, man, maybe she didn't like that. She thought something was wrong, so she started cleaning him. Right. But yeah. we also knew that he was half Angus, and that's what Angus do. They start out kind of oh, right. brownish black. Yep. And then they lose it because it, people thought that was his skin, but that's not. That's jet no, black that's, Angus that's, fur, I can man. Tell you right now, that's jet, so he he'll go all black. Eventually. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, son, I you know. Could be the way yep. Yeah, that's still pretty, still pretty, still pretty. Hi, Mama June. Hi, Mama June. Yeah, we better leave. Yeah. Well, let's go get on the side by side. Yeah, and we'll, we'll feed him. You might be able to pet Frank more. You know what I didn't realize? Just stop for over here. Container. Container is. I thought it was yeah. like right here. That's how the scope of how mm -hmm. big it really is here. Well, it changed a lot when I brush hogged this yeah. too. So standing and looking uh, south or uh, west, that tree line is is yours over there. Yes, we don't have any trees in the middle except for mm -hmm. mimosa, uh -huh. a few oaks over there, yeah. which yeah. we like. Which I did. I told you I ordered a special tree. Nobody knows about. I gotta wait. Yes. I'm That's pretty excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, dude, if that works out for you, I, I might have to... I it's might pretty have, cool, man. I might have to get me one. It yep. works. And Oreo. Yours lives, and yours lives. And then... Whoop. I'll have to get me one. Hey, yeah, there you go. I don't know what you want to name And then... Well, see if he sticks around before we name him. Yeah, I'm thinking too. I mean, if he if Cowboy disappears, we'll call him Cowboy Killer. Now see, what's cool, he's already... He's eating the greens already. Or I got it. I got it. See, everybody thinks cowboys are the deal. You got a cowboy hat, you somebody. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. you can order these off Amazon. They show up on your porch. Anybody yeah. can be a cowboy. Yeah. I walk. If I were to put on Wranglers and walk down to the store, they'd be like, oh, that's, he's, he's probably got a couple he's hundred Wrangler. acres. He's a cowboy. Exactly. No. But you know who wears cowboy hats down there at the store where I go every morning for coffee or something? You know who wears cowboy hats? Who? Not a one of them. No, you know no, why? No. Because they're ranchers and the cowboys work for the rancher. Oh, got it. The cowboys ain't sense. even in charge. It makes sense. I know. But everybody's oh. like, oh, you go to cowboy. Yeah, and the ranchers wear what? Ball hats and. Uh, John if a hat at all. And, and, and they go down there and drink coffee while the guy that runs their ranch, the cowboy, is, is working. I don't mean cowboys aren't tough because they're doing all the work. I hear, I'm with you. But. I totally understand. Yeah, I, I know, man. I know. I've met some legit. 
cowboy tough dudes that don't even wear cowboy hats. I've met girls tougher than me that race horses and stuff and chase cows that don't even wear cowboy hats. So you're saying people stereotype? I say, I Based think so, Based on yeah. the hat you wear? Yeah, they just, they get so a little... So if you never wear a hat, you don't know what I am. Pretty I much. could be the best, biggest, baddest cowboy or a big old rancher or a know. baseball player or... You don't know. You have no idea. So yeah. I'm going to keep it that way. Yep. A lot of people know. think I'm a cop or I was in the military. Is that because I'm bossy? Probably. Is that because my hair? Probably. I haven't figured that it's out. It's the high and tight. The high and tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's called... It's, I don't have a... It's called the grow and slow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, the growing slow. Huge. Yeah. I mean, have I, you not seen it? I've never. Oh. No. I don't think I've seen it. Before. Shoot, man. It's it's tall. Yeah. The belly goes Wait a minute. Well. In here. Let's give a. Uh, what do you want to do? No, no, no. Give Josh at Stony Ridge a little mention here because he drives the Hondas. He likes. I think it's a Honda Pioneers, the new ones. Yeah. And I I told people I was like, man, I sat in a Polaris. I sat in a Mule. And I felt cramped. And somebody was like, hey, Josh drives Hondas. Of course, Josh, 6'4", 6'5". Stony Ridge is 6'5", 6'5". I don't have real long legs. I'm just yeah. taller. But, yeah, I messaged Josh, sent me an email, and he was like, dude, I love the Hondas, man. So I went and sat in one, and I was like, that's what I want. Well, I've got four, a good four inches between me and Dash if I hit something. So that's unusual. Well, there's also 500 pounds in the front seat right now. I don't know how much you weigh. Well, we're, we're just shy of 500 pounds. We got a sack of feed in the back. Let's see. Let me do the math in my head. Yeah. Tell you the truth, I've only been in a golf cart. That this drives is way different than a wheel. golf cart. This is, I've I never, believe. I've never been in and driven one of these. It's 700 cc's. 700. So Woo. it'll rip. We, we can do 40 in it, but. What happens it'll, when you do 40? Well, it'll dump the oil and you got to go see Russ. <laughs> I think go. it overflows. I knew when you told me. Yeah. I looked at mom and I said, hey, that's what happens. You drive 40 miles an hour, six miles one way, and six miles well, back on the highway. See, what's funny You may not have done all of that. Now when I get a new piece of equipment, like I'm going to drive it really hard, then take it to Russ. Because <laughs> it worked out great. If I'd have done this and then it, like if I'd taken it to Russ and then gone to the gas station, it'd have been, I'd have been frustrated. Yeah. So this is one of the only Hondas that doesn't like cold starts. And that's why guys put a little more oil in them, which I think is what happened. Oh, it, yeah. I think they actually, well, in the forums, they actually overfill them on purpose because and your pressure builds and then you get to go quicker. Otherwise, you got to let it start and run. So this has like an oil relief valve yeah. on it. Russ, which, he showed me there's a tube that comes out of it and it will how, putter out oil. It will do that before it will blow the engine up. Right. I'm, not a, I'm not a mechanic, but instead of going this way. But essentially, it's a fail safe. <laughs> yeah for guys like me. Perfect. Yep. First, then you got four-wheel okay, drive. Okay, so it's in neutral. Then when I want to go, you just drive and you're ready. Yep. Whoa! Whoa! It'll scoot. Whoa! See, it's hard not to rip. Whoa! This is like Grandma driving her Honda. Her, uh, uh, her uh, Honda car. Wreck-It Ray. Oh, she gets Wreck-It Ray. We got Wreck-It Ray and race car Ray. You can stay straight. Over we'll down to the bottom. Go to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Chase ran the bush hog yesterday, so I'll show you what he bush hogged. I do not need one of these, but I need one. I wouldn't, I well, wouldn't. you know, you think about it, you got your four wheeler and you got a cart. This essentially is that. You can put 800 pounds in that cart back there. I got that four wheeler and you know, it gets used very sparingly, but I, I like, I want to have a four wheeler so I have one. They make so there's finished mowers and then there's we'll go down by the tank. You can drive over anything you want. There's finished mowers, there's rough cut mowers. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Boy, that coupe looks small in this big area. Yeah, mine, yeah. Look, mine looks big. I'm getting ready to move that. I'm just gonna hook it up to the tractor and pull it. Just oh, go that way. Yeah. Well, see what people don't realize is. This that container right there was buried under this. Oh, this is That's how much dirt. dirt. So this is all dirt. Yeah, see the top string of that barbed wire? Oh, it's lower dirt. than that dirt. So you can take all of this and, and do whatever it. I want with it. Well, I tell you what, and it's okay right here because nothing's washing it away. Right. And right. So it'll be there for years. You got the same situation down here. Yeah. You got your cloudy day. You got your I don't want to do anything day chores. Yes. So. Now I would love some coming down here like you. 
doing this and driving the snow. Is this all dirt? Yeah. All usable dirt? Yeah. Well, until you get your house built, I suppose what you want to do is leave it alone. Right. You may, may, Ray may want a bunch of nice dirt up around the house to plant flower. I don't know. Well, we'll just we'll backfill with clay. Well, heck, see that? Yeah. See that red dirt on the other side of the pond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all clay. So, like, we could backfill around a basement or a foundation with that, whatever we end up doing. And then, uh, you stay right here. Good dirt on top of it. There's no shifter to push. It just goes Just back. neutral. I like that. Break. That's it. That is super nice. I love this thing. And you know what I like, too? Look at the room I have to get out with my knees. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And so, they all come down here and munch on this. Right. Now, is this where they, when you're showing... Watch this, that stick. I didn't pick that one up. <laughs> this is where they like to hang out, right here? Yeah. So if you come out, this is where they'll generally will be. Yep, and that's one of those just regular red mineral like this. Yeah. And one of them, actually, it's this one, has garlic in it. Okay. Which has helped with the flies tremendously. And then those are actually medicated fly control. And they're licking all of them, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I can see They'll lick them. They'll lick them all the way down. Oh, who knows? It smells good. It's pretty good though. Yeah, that's good for. Look, it's familiar. You know, it's too bad she can't. She can't get up in there. But... Well, you know what? She hates car rides. She always has. Okay. I couldn't get her in trucks save my life. I mean, we took her to the vet. I've had her groomed and cleaned up and brushed and stuff like that. But yeah, well, it's good for her. To... She does not like the truck, man. Down here and walk. That's all right. That's one of my favorite spot on the farm. To look up this way. Just, just yeah. right here. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. I've, Man, I'll tell you what. I want to put a hammock right here, and, and I just lay there. So much. Yeah. With this under that tree. Look at that tree. What is that? That's a hickory. Like it's got like hickory nuts on it. Huge, beautiful tree. Yeah, I could uh, drive down here. Now, what I didn't realize too, from down here, the slope. Yeah. Man, alive. That's well, if you think about it, cool the peak of the cabin inside is 12 and a half. So outside, let's call it 13. Yeah. When you're at our driveway, you can barely see the top see of the roof. And I can see now where the roof of that is lower than where I'm parked. Right. Well, like you can't see your truck and it's oh. just inside the gate. Oh, shoot. I can't. That's right. And I can barely, you know, you're seeing about half of the shed up there for the uh, mm -hmm. alpacas. That's why we love this, because we know that guy's not going anywhere. That land is landlocked. Mr. and Mrs. A, they're not going anywhere. That's yep. And this is 200 some acres. I think it's like 250, but the house is way up there, man. So nobody's back here ever. Perfect for the animals. Always has shade. And to stay here, see, this is, I can tell you what, man. Yeah, this is where I would, I would just, I would just, I'd hang out. I would. This would be my one of my happy spots. There would be several. What I would probably do, now I like this spot over here, I can tell you right now. Yeah. I like it. You don't ever show, and what is, this is where you used to Well, build. that pile of timber right there, we're going to build another loafing shed. <clears throat> They'll be symmetrical. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build it. I've got a, I believe that's, that's 110 feet off that fence, and it's 60 feet off this one. Okay. So I'm going to do the same over here. Okay. I'll tell you what I didn't realize. When you drive by land and it's you see borders, you go, how many acres is that? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how big 20 acres is. Yeah. I think I'm looking at a lot of places that are only 20 acres or 15, and I think it's 30. Yeah. So coming here to your land, it, you know, because you still got 60 feet or better. Oh, yeah. To go here, and, and your animals, obviously, they go in here. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, during the wintertime, dude, when it snows, oh, my gosh. It's amazing. And you put your... All of put your coveralls on your boots and you just walk around and you know yeah you know, I, I, I I tell you what I'd do I'd have me a it's just more dirt right here uh, yeah, I mean, I'd have me a walking path yeah you know I'd cut me a walking path and I'd come out here every day and I'd walk through yeah see? so I brush hogged all this a couple nights ago okay that looks good and see some of this is fescue and that's what guys were saying yeah some of it I'm not saying there's a lot Bermuda and Bermuda nothing wrong with Bermuda. But the guys were saying if you keep it cut short, it'll slow the weeds down mm, mm. and all that. It does. Weeds, yeah, that, mm -hmm. it's true. Eventually, honestly, you keep it cut, your weeds kind of give up. Yeah. They honestly do. They give up. Look at all that dirt. Well, they can't come to seed, so. Yeah, that's right. Look at all that dirt right there. Yeah. 
and all this right here. Goodness gracious. Well, that's all dirt right there. Look, you smell it. Mm -hmm. it smells like it smells like uh, good God's green earth right there. This may be. I know if you get you know this right here, this could be my spot. Yeah. This is. Uh, Man, this is awesome. yeah. I want to see. Remember when you first came here and you were talking about the back place of the. You go back where the pond is. This where you guys. That's where it was. Yeah. Okay. It was just riddled with trees. Yeah, you cleared all this out. Yeah. They were black willows, which are really dangerous because they grow really fast yeah. and then they fall over. They crack. Oh, that's all. That's all dirt. Yeah. Goodness gracious, it's. Now, it makes a good natural barrier right there for nobody to get in and around. Mm -hmm. It keeps his cows from coming over and ours from going over. Yeah. Well, there's some good grass growing in that overflow. You do not want to water before or seed before it rains. Because I seeded some of that and I seeded the dam and it rained the next day. Oh, no. My overflow looks amazing. Wonderful. Like the cows come back here and he... <laughs> It's pretty funny. It stays on your. Uh, I probably property. lost a whole bag of seed in uh, that overflow. And it'll come up next spring. It'll keep coming. But it up. looks looks amazing. And this is all dirt. All dirt. Oh, I and I mean dirt, dirt. It's not. Yeah. There's not rocks a foot down. It's. Yeah. Now those. Are Ten you, feet of dirt. Those of you who don't understand why I get so excited about having dirt, mm -hmm. the person who likes cars, and uh, you know. Uh, That's a water line they actually oh, had yeah. out here. Oh. But we couldn't use them because they were cracked well, I quite was, a bit. Yeah, I see. The, I see it going on out there. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited because I see so much potential with how it can be smoothed out and, and uh, used down the road. And some someone that has zero black dirt in their yard, but wants all the black dirt in the yard, I'm, I'm envious. All this stuff right here is lower. Or so are you gonna? I don't know what you'll do with all that. Again, should be we'll start it. rolling it in on on and itself. Yeah, burn, we got these. We got two big burn piles from when we redid the pond. Okay. So, but it's good to have it in one spot right here. Now, what? That's this. That's right clay, here. clay to build up the pond. Okay. So, nice. our concrete box eventually will put a culvert in coming out of that overflow. Water in that thing is. Oh yeah. So what we'll do, and this is why I'm not in a hurry, because mm -hmm. even if I finish this right now, mm -hmm. it set me back about a grand. It's not much when you're talking about a one acre pond. Yeah. But if I were to finish this, I dig a trench and run my pipe right through the trench, be 22 inches around, 20 feet long. It'll come out the other side of the dam. That's 22 inches, go through that hole. Yep. And you put a little mortar mix around it mm -hmm. and you run your overflow over there. And then you just start backfilling and you build your dam up just higher than that box. And then when the water fills up in the pond, there's a V over here. And the water trickles into that V, runs down in it, okay. flows out. So basically your water can only get this high. Yeah. And then it's gonna come in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they okay. notch it so it's not like immediate, like from all directions okay. flowing in. They okay. notch it and gives it a little relief. Cause the odds of it actually pouring in, you're talking torrential downpour for weeks. Yeah, yeah. So. But it's gotta fill all this up here. Oh yeah. And all that over there before it even reaches here. Mm -hmm. And our inlet probably goes 60 feet beyond that little alcove right there that little cove so, i mean it would it, there's so much water yeah are you going to leave this all as it is or do you come in here and take some of this oh out? i mean if you notice it's hard to tell people think that's like really really high no, it's not. but it's not it's every bit of probably 10 feet lower than that point yeah, right there really high. So and that covers up with water it's actually right gonna be lower than that still lower than this right. and we learned too that now i do want the stumps out of there but yeah. we learned too that if you have a bowl of a pond, it's very hard for fish that are littler to grow and thrive and survive because they have nowhere to hide. So we learned that having a couple valleys is actually better because they can hide, they can get away. Okay. You know, I mean. If you do fish, do you pick a side and they stay in it? No, they'll be able to get through over there, actually. When it's full, you won't see either one of these ridges. 
Right, so, right. It'll just be all mm -hmm. one. And I'll probably take another foot off of that, mm -hmm. or at least dig it down in the middle a little bit right. to give them some. But uh, I think the idea, what the old boy was going to do before he bailed, I don't mind saying that. I've said it before. Yep. But I think all that red clay right there, he was going to push in here oh. and kind of re get all this muck out of here. But we've learned also that there's good biomatter in here. We don't actually want to lose that. There's a lot of pond life in there. Good, healthy pond life. From the moss, you can well, see how clear the water is right here? Yeah, is. That's actually good. Yeah. If we were to drag all this out of here, it kind of starts it over. Yeah, well, true. And look, this right here is pretty cool looking. That's actually uh, growing up on the bottom there, you know. Yep. And Very healthy. Fish hide in it. Oh, yeah. Well, those Muscovies we had, mm -hmm. now they went back home because they, yeah. they walked or flew, but this is frogging world man mm -hmm. but no it'll be all right it'll be a project for those what september october rains no i tried you can i could drag it i just can't get it up the hill so what i'll do is get we've rented a 50 horse excavator before when I get that 50 horse, I'll be able to drive right down there and kind of knock some of that into that hole, right. smooth it out. I'll just pick, I'll literally pick that up. It's pretty incredible. You might have to come down here when we rent that. Yeah, I'll put it over there. I'll pick some of that up and stack it on top of itself. But. Just gotta wait on the water. Yep. But that's why right now with everything we've got going on, there's no point in no, it's not raining enough no, to warrant no. focusing on this. If I did everything this pond needed tomorrow, I don't think it would have rain until March of next year. Oh, you're burning the stump there. I, didn't I am. I'll have to show you my stump burning skills now. I wish I'd have realized that how easy it is. I'm thankful it's cloudy right now. Just be baking. Baking. Yep. Baking feels good. And then we're going to put a pond right there for Miss June. Because, you know, Miss June's got to have something to wade in. Oh, I saw it. That's where you cleaned out yeah. the other day. <clears throat> so, I'm not super versed on it. I just know that we've dug a hole. Is that what you're going to make the... Yeah. yeah. I saw the other day somebody had a big one like that. I'm yeah. probably going to get some pigs mm -hmm. and put a hot wire around it. Let them seal it. Let them root it down. Mm -hmm. Put some red clay in it. And they'll, they'll seal it for us. We'll get them some shade, of course. used to stand right here and you couldn't even see anywhere it was all huge but yeah case brush hogged all this yesterday you can see i'll link his video down below it should be right after this but yeah he did it he did it all it was a great place to turn him loose because since this was all does we knew there's no trees there was like one lone rock um he couldn't hurt anything so just jumped on he actually ended up Okay. Well, the, re the reason we didn't mow growing up, my brothers and I, is because my dad was like, oh, but they might like lose a digit mowing and that'll ruin their pro ball career. <laughs> so we didn't have to mow growing up. And then when we graduated, we all quit sports. <laughs> so we right. showed him. I should have. <laughs> we, we didn't know how to mow until we yeah, I moved think I need out. A, I think I need a mulligan on that part of the uh, life there where uh, I didn't, the boys, the, the deal was you go to school, you play sports. Take care of the good grades. Good, good grades. grades. And it worked. That's how we, that's what we did. And were. we did. We, we, yeah, this was not something, we were city folk. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to call, they tease mad about being city. All you guys were, we're city. All city. I'd never all touched, are. I'd never truly touched a cow until I was probably mid 20s. Yeah, right. And then, right. I, like, actually owning one and touching one, I was yeah. 36. You got me beat by about yeah. 20 years. I mean, let alone goats and alpacas. I and I know. And that's, I, I tell you what, you know, letting young people experience this uh, is, is, I don't care how you have to do it. I don't care how you have to do it. Get them somewhere where they can do and see, get them where they can do the, touch the animals and be out like this. Make a decision as to whether or not they want to do it one of these days. You yeah. know, there's nothing wrong with the sports. So I get it, you know, and, and uh, but, but boy, hindsight's twenty twenty and poured everything we had into that at the time and uh, well there's a lot no of people, regrets uh, but golly there's a lot of people down great. here i've met that grew up farming and mm -hmm. don't want anything to do with it now oh 
But just like some of our subscribers may have, they have an appreciation for what this takes. Mm -hmm. They don't look around here and go, man, dude, why don't you pick up that burn pile? Why don't you, they understand. Right. That, yeah. Yeah. you know. You can't do everything mm -hmm. that you want to in a day. It's impossible. No. You've got to prioritize. Well, and to maintain your sanity too, you sometimes, like yesterday, my, my priority was mowing. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I got it mowed and it looked great. But you know, I went through five shear pins mowing that. That's how rough that is over there. Wow. So, you know, you hit something with your shear pin, it busts out of your PTO, so it doesn't so break, your, break it. Yeah. I went through five of them. And I mean, I'm watching like a hawk because when you have you to swap like a shear and, and, and stumps and stuff. Yeah. yeah. What I did learn, a guy actually taught me too, because my tractor's heavy. Yours would be the same way. If you see a stump that's already been like blunted, run over it with your tire. It kind of plows it a little bit, flattens mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I also keep my bale spear on there or my bucket, which some people call me out for because you're supposed to take your implements off when you do field work. Apparently it's kind of like a cowboy hat thing, I think. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> I leave my spear on there or my bucket so I can drop it down. That way, if I hit a rock, I hit it with my bucket. I can move it out of the way. Or I come across trees right now that might only be four or five inches yeah. around. Too big to hit, right. so I can pick right. them up. But well, and if your bale spear, your bucket doesn't move it, I wouldn't hit it with the no, no, no. You know where it's at. Raise your well, and ideally, we want to mow this. Mm -hmm. So the first step is getting it cut down to where you're not hurting your mower you got to find the stuff right. i've always you know listen when you mow a yard or you mow anything first time you got to find stuff out there man you either walk it or you take something and drag it around you don't know if they'll hop on a mower and go just start going i've heard people do it i've seen guys do it and they just you know you've on. sharpened a few blades of boys that have done it well yeah you know I, hey my 48 horse or my 48 inch 24 horse john deere man that's the roughest cutting machine i've ever been on in my life man <laughs> Uh, but send that blade, sucker that blade those blades are rock fine Ru aren't they? That's right. <laughs> rust service that last year it's probably yeah. due yeah i, I would imagine <laughs> the blades are probably pretty dull well, i ain't gonna run my tractor yeah. through it yeah they're not cutting they're just knocking things no. down right now <laughs> i know got it oh man funny well you know how to do the cattle call don't do it right now because we got to get near the feet or they'll trample us <laughs> All right, but let's go down way. there. So I don't even see him. Let's see if yeah, I can I, zoom I, in. I, Chad has just told me that he's going to call these critters and they're going to come from up there. Well, folks, I see one llama and I see two little... Well, those are alpacas. I see... Y'all get some llamas? Well, from here, it looks like a camel. I see one camel up there. And That's I more see... a camel than a llama. I see... <laughs> Technically. I know. I see two little brown things. Oh, look, Cabela like the 14%. No, yeah, she's going to eat it all. So, but you call them, and you're telling me they're going to come from here, from there to here. Oh, yeah. And well, they'll you, stop right before they get, well, they stop before they get to me. I don't okay. know if they stop before they get to you. Let me do my, let me put my, me, 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 me. Yeah. Well, you got to tuck them up. Do, re, do, re, do re, <laughs> not on camera. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. So I don't even see them. They'll walk out and they'll look for us. Donkeys will see us first. Well, now they think something's wrong. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing now. They think some animal down there is in danger. And they're... Okay, hang on. <laughs> Just go keep going. You have to go home and tell Grandma why you can't talk. Actually, Grandma will call me and thank me. go, hey, whatever you did, do it again. She said, hey, she sent me out. She said, hey, man, you can go She'll practice She send me morning. out every morning. Hey, do your cow, call the cows. Just on the other side of the uh, green yep. house. Here they come. Look at Tipsy. See, see her coming? Oh, my word, Patrick. Come on, cow! Oh, it's done deal now. That was pretty cool. Woo! Nobody moved till Tipsy moved. Yeah. Uh, I have a question real quick before they get here. Mm -hmm. Do they stop before I go? Do they, uh, do they stop or do I just get the bag and, and meet them halfway? Well, How's that work? We'll see here. I'm getting a little nervous. And Cabela's going with Cabela. Here they come, Bella. Here they come. The young ones run. Here they come. Oh, they all know it now. So you got, do the donkeys come too? Mm -hmm. oh, here's, uh, oh, the goats will come. Yeah, here's Patrick and June and Frank. And then the rest of them are over here. They came from the other side. They will stop, right? Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. You're fine. What? Yeah, they'll stop. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Well, hang I on. mean, I'm gonna back hang, up. But... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that's, that's one of them deals. You ain't gotta be fastest. You gotta be faster than your friends. I know. Are you sure they'll stop? <laughs> but. 
So now, all you gotta do is beat that last. Guy. If you just pick it up and just make a big old line, don't worry about the dirt. Yeah, the longer the better. Right. Spread them out. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. All right. That was fun. There's some food out here, guys. Cool. Oh, we still got. Oh, the goats and. They all come down. Chickens. Here comes three birds. <laughs> Let me uh -oh. That's how Bruce says his name. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's some over here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Look in here. Come here. We're missing Bunny. Oh, no, she's behind you. My bad. She snuck up on you. You can pet them all. When they're eating, they get a little more. Right. Like you'll bump into them, and they don't know it's you. Right. So. Gets you. Wow, that's awesome, man. I see what you're saying, though. A straight line. <coughs> oh, hang on. <coughs> straight line might be better. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, baby. come here, ginger, ginger, no. Yes. Snap. Snap. Ginger, okay. <coughs> It's clear down here, guys. I didn't do a very good job making a straight line. I zigzagged it. That's pretty cool. It's funny, though. They all eventually find. Mm -hmm. Now, he's standing. Oh, They're gonna, they'll stand on it. They pee on it. They poop on it. Look at the yep. chickens. Yep. Now they're probably eating dust. They can't eat the whole cubes. Yeah, Case started his morning walk. <laughs> He's so excited to be up. <laughs> there comes two more birds. You better hurry up, boy. That little bird. That's a lot of stepping right there. Sweet Case. Case salad. Woo! 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 He's, he's oblivious. So everybody good hey, here? We good? So I feed them back here too because it gets them near the minerals. I and know what you're doing. I've got to. Well, I know what you're doing. I just figured it out. Well, you're gonna have to tell me. People, he's training me. They're going on vacation. <laughs> he's, he's training me to feed these animals. We're I not. Just figured, I'm kidding. He's. Is that a dog tick or a <laughs> wart? Well, can you can't touch it, but uh, there's one on his face too. That's, but see, he's my a, fence tester. That's a tick, brother. So if it's a tick, it makes sense because that's he's my fence tester. Right. He's always in the bushes. That's a tick. Okay. You can't get to it. Yeah, that's a tick. Hey, easy. Everybody gets out of her way. Nobody. Everybody moves. What's on yeah. It's Sorry. where she was branded. Oh. It just it, they never really heal. I shouldn't say they never heal. They just yeah. they yeah. go on and on. Now, is Frank still nursing? Oh, yeah. They nurse about six months. Six months? Okay. Yeah. No, they'll probably nurse longer if you don't pull them. Okay. So, we'll see. He'll have to have some kind of pin. Well, look at the... Patrick's big. Don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. He's a big boy. Well, and there's two months between them. Almost almost two months exactly. Wait, Frank is not that much smaller. No, it's 55 oh, days between them. 55 days? Oh, buddy. March 17th and May 12th. Man, he's... Yeah, I think that's Frank 55. Coming along. He's a good looking boy. He's a good looking boy. Bruce, I tell you what, that boy. Now, gosh, look at his neck. My yeah, he's thick. Delicious. He ain't missing any meals either, though. No, no, no. He, he, uh. Yeah, he's a healthy boy. I don't know. Salad. What's up, brother? You're going after it, though. You get after it. No, it's basically scar tissue. 
it. So it's not open. You ain't got to worry about it. Mm -hmm. What I like though is, and I'll, I'll call Tessie out here a little bit. For those of you that don't know, Tessie was June's blood sister. Same bull, different mom. Mm -hmm. But Tessie intentionally sought people out to push them, make them get out of the way. She never moved for a vehicle, a tractor, side by side. Tipsy will give you a little shake. It's just like, hey, give me my space. So she's a great cow and she's an amazing mom. So even though she's the herd boss, there has to be a herd boss. Yeah. But what we're thankful for is that she gives warnings. I like you this distance from me. I like you that distance. So, and I tell you what, when the neighbor's cows come visit at the fence, they don't come in here. Cause she don't, this is my field. This is, this is what I like. Oh, yep. We've actually had instances where we herd coyotes and we'll see her down in the pasture, kind of walking around like patrolling, man. On top of the donkeys, you know, Ray, we sit out here at 10, 11 o'clock at night sometimes and just listen. It's just quiet. Listen to the owls and coyotes. The donkeys literally do laps all night long. They set off, they'll set off my camera over there and then they'll set off. There's another one on that tree. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one in the container. They set them off all night long. I can literally look about 30, 45 minutes apart. They just yeah. walk around. Wow. That's great. I love the color of her horns. Oh, yeah. Bruce, man, like you're going to get short of the meal, you know? He's probably eating a couple. Well, and he'll, he's, he's, like, if he put his feet on our chest, he'd be head high with us. Yeah, he's. Like, I've seen him. He literally will limb trees for me about six feet in the yeah, air. He, he's, he's, uh, I, uh, I know, I got you. Uh, oh, he's not aggressive. He'll <laughs> run. Oh, I'm sorry. I stepped on your paw on the Um. Batman is a little taller back-wise. Not much. Mm -hmm. Not much. I think Batman's got him a little, you know, head, but there's, there's a definite, uh, they're built different. You know, I got you. Yeah. I'm jealous because I'm fitting Bella. I'm jealous. That's okay. That's okay. I got you. What's sad though, you know, somebody gave her up, man. Yeah. That's no, sad. As is. sweet a goat as that. I don't care if she can't even have babies, yeah. which she's pretty... Yeah. She might be pregnant. I don't know, but um, just, just imagine us. An animal. I mean, they ran her through the auction. Yeah, like it's one thing good. to say, "Hey, I've got this sweet goat. Mm -hmm. Put her on Craigslist. I won't sell her to somebody unless yeah. I know where you live." Check, check, but this is just run through the auction. Check and see. Yeah, I would make sure she got a good home. Like Patrick and uh, I don't think Frank's going anywhere, but Patrick, you know, I'll make sure he goes somewhere. He's registered. Yeah. I'll make sure, even if he's going to be a steer. We'll make sure he goes somewhere appropriate. Yep. Yep. But Good idea. I would never. Now, a longhorn auction, that'd be a little different. A designated auction. Mm -hmm. But this was just your regular old Tuesday night. Oh, oh she is so sweet. Oh, my goodness. Don't yeah, make fun of my ears, Grandpa. No, can't do that. She's too sweet. Look at that. Yeah, I'm glad she's here to get some love on him. Cabela. Oh, Cabela. Oh, she, <laughs> wait a minute. You've got to, I've been here longer than anybody. Should be ten years old in September. Oh, yeah. What a way to live the rest of your life, though, as a dog. I mean, we've always had a quarter acre or a half, but oh, like yeah. she's always had. And now, she goes man, inside. Has air conditioning, she sleeps inside. Heat in the winter. Yep. Oh yeah. She dug her nice hole underneath yeah. the cabin on the base rock, oh, real just... nice, cool spot. <laughs> oh, I gotta see Maggie. Let's go see. Let's take a side by side, though. Let's go see Maggie. I didn't pet the uh, June. Is she pettable? Uh, when they're eating, I just kind of pat them, and if they're receptive to it, you can keep going. Yeah, just a touch. Just to say I did it. Bad girl. Bad girl. That's a girl. Good mama. Good mama. Real good mom. Good mama. She was crazy protective for about a month, yeah. and now she's, hey, it's all good. Relax. It's so funny though, she'll wander off and go get in the pond mm -hmm. and she'll leave Frank behind with the herd because you know, they babysit for each other, literally, the moms do. She'll go get in the pond and then Frank will realize mom's gone and you'll hear him going, burr, burr. and June will turn around in the pond like, golly, you whiz, kid. So she'll call him and, but he gets, whether he's Angus or Highland full, he gets in the pond with her. Nobody else truly gets in but he does because mom does. Yeah. He gets right in it. Well, it gets, his, his 
He's Angus. He's Angus, man. Thick, yeah. yeah, he's a he's a big boy. Yeah, he's big. Big old boy. What do you think, goat? Huh? What you think? They ain't missing meals either. No, you're not. What you think? Oh, you're so you're, you're pretty. Here come the donks. But now they don't care about this. Oh, yes and no. Yeah, I mean there's still a lot of food to eat. Yeah. Come on in. Will they make the yeah, food? they'll come eat a little bit. You belly rub, there you go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I yelled at her. I yelled, she didn't like that. <laughs> didn't like that. Come here, come here. I got you. Oh boy, you want your belly rub? Here, here we go. Get your belly rub. Here we go, she's going down. Oh, watch, well, as long as it's standing up. There we go. Oh, what in the world, look at that. Boy, look at that belly. Goodness. That's, a, that's the epitome of a dad bod right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my word. Good mom, it scratches. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have those fingernails, do I? Look at mm. that. Oh, my goodness. She just loves her mom, it scratches. Yeah, one of these days, she'll have like eight chins up here. <laughs> <laughs> Rub all of them separately. Oh, my word. <laughs> the big old spots. Yeah, I know. Right there. See, she knows mama's touching her. She lied. <laughs> <laughs> Can they have babies at this age? I mean, what in the, look at that. What in the world is that? Goodness. And quiet little noises. Is that girl? That's great. If I pick her up, she'll scream. Nah, you can pick her up. Just hold her to your body like a football. Come here. Hey man, uh, go. I'm gonna. We'll, we'll end the video right here. I got a ton of footage. Hey, Enjoyed yeah. it. Had a yeah. great time, man. Had you weren't planning time. on it, but we did it. I was gonna, you know, I figured you would be real busy. I was gonna turn and burn, and it worked out better. Absolutely. It worked out better this way. Absolutely. Now I know how to feed all your animals, and you guys want to go away for a day or two. <laughs> yep. And I got to see Miss Cabela. Oh yes, the highest ranking animal on the farm. Hey, what if we do this? What are you at? 48.3? 48.3, I think. Yeah. You know what everybody wants is those cameras you and I have. The real link. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much are the older cell phone version? There's a newer version that's more expensive, but we don't, we don't like those because they have a light, which basically tells everybody they're on camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But aren't the old ones like 150 bucks? They're 185. You want to go halfsies on one? And if okay. we get you to 50... Off if this you video? Can, if we get you to 50 off this video... Now, you got to comment and you got to pay attention to your comments because we've done it before. Sometimes people will win and we go tell you you won and then you ain't, you never reply to us and we have to go to the next person. So, comment down below. Love you guys. I'm here for the camera. So smile, you're on camera. Smile, you're on camera. There you go. <laughs> Don't hashtag it because it actually yeah. hides it. Yeah, YouTube doesn't allow that. So, hey, smile, you're on camera. Or, just hey. comment down below. We mentioned this very, very late in the video because we know the most loyal folks watched the whole video. So we can give it to somebody that's always one of them. We'll send you one of our, our cell phone cameras we got. So, and if you don't want the cell phone plan, because it is like, I know I'm getting a little wordy here, but it is like $10 a month. It's $10 a month. Ten dollars a month if you if you're with the company. So I think it's yeah. But if you like don't it. if you don't want that, we can send you a Wi-Fi one. Yeah, true, so, true. Or something. You got to get him to fifty. Pretty quick. Get Not him six there. months from now. Not six months from now. We got to got to do it by. I didn't know this was coming. So we'll I'm, give it away I'm, on Friday. Okay. So you got to get him to fifty by Friday. Fifty thousand followers. Not that far. It's only like 17, 1800 Oh yeah. yeah. So it's YouTube. Facebook, feel free to play along. We'll pick a winner from either one, but we're pushing that YouTube channel to 50,000, if that makes sense. Grandpa Adler Farms. Yep. Grandpa Adler Farms. Comment down below. Yeah. We'll go from there. Thank so. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Whether it's one or 
100,000. We, we appreciate you exactly. guys very much, all the way across the family. So Absolutely. Ray's got a new video out tonight. Case has a new video out tonight. Dad has a new video out tomorrow. Kyle and Shannon have a new video out tomorrow. So between all of us, you guys pretty much just watch the Adler Farms DOS family all week long, man. Thank you. So Thank you very much. It. We love you. Appreciate it very much. All right. Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. God bless. Deuces. Deuces. See you guys. Thank you.